In this experiment, we'll be extracting an oil containing limonene from orange peel. It's also a great experiment to demonstrate the use of quick fit apparatus and ground glass joints. We start the experiment by first grating the orange peel so that we can put it into the round bottom flask. As soon as you start grating the peel, you can begin to feel the uh, extract on your hands. Just uh, do one more quickly. Slightly uh, smaller orange here. And this one's so ripe, it's breaking up. You could peel it and. Uh, Cut up the peel with a knife into small uh, pieces, or you can just break it with your hands if you wish. As long as you've got small enough pieces to go into the round bottom flask. to warm my hands. So for this experiment we'll be using this 250ml round bottom flask which has got the, uh, the wider uh, 24 to 29 fitting uh, so called at the top here and into that we need to put our orange peel. It's important that you don't Compromise the seal on the uh, round bottom flask, a quick fit seal, by getting all sorts of stuff around it. So we use this uh, funnel, you now a funnel, to uh, get our material into the round bottom flask. Now, as I say, you can you can place, you can actually just cut up small pieces and make sure they go in with the spatula if you choose. Or you can just scoop the zest and orange peel in mass. Must avoid getting any orange peel on the heating mantle. So probably better to conduct this part of the experiment sitting on a cork ring rather than here. Um, you just burn and smell rather nicely if you were to leave it there on the ceramic fiber. So a little bit more. In it goes. And you really can use this as much as you like. Um, the purpose of the video I'll just leave it at that. You've got a good 10 grams I would say of peel and zesty peel got in there which uh, should be enough to get something. You may want to start with a, a bigger orange and get more peel. Right, the next part of the operation is to uh, leave the fan there. It's to introduce some hot water so pre boiled this in the kettle and remember not to fill your round bottom flask over, or not too far over halfway. And that goes in. 
with the uh, size of the distillation arm here, we need to use an adapter. And then goes the distillation arm. Next, we've got our Liebig condenser. We're going to quickly get that to the tap. I'm going to moisten your rubber tubing. It's easier to uh, get on. It's nice and moist. I'm going to push it well on. If you uh, were to come off during the experiment, it wouldn't be a complete disaster, but it wouldn't uh, be the best technique. Um, so when using the condenser, move the water in at the bottom and out at the top. And no different here. So there's a tube at the top. And this tube will sit nicely. That's a bit too long, but it'll sit nicely in the, the sink there. And we turn it on. And you should be able to see the water rising up. And you can tilt it to get rid of the air. Maybe trapped in it, and you've soon got a cold water jacket that's going to be supported by the uh, clamp here, and we connect it in like that. Now, that may be enough, and if you've got enough just to check your equipment and it fits nicely, you see it doesn't really stay on there too well. You do that, you want to compromise the seal. So, um, because that one's slipping off, we'll use one of these little uh, plastic clips. But it's, you shouldn't rely on, overly rely on the clips uh, uh, to keep that on. Right, now we're a bit too close to the sink because we want to collect some samples, so we're going to move the hole and then we this, this way. So this all. And now uh, you can see the really last good set up so it's nice and comfortable, ready to go. Well, we won't need to use a thermometer this time because we're just going to boil the water and the steam that comes over hopefully will bring the volatile organic material with it. Um, let's turn the heating mantle on. So let's do the power on over here. And the light should come on. We start off at max and uh, regulate later. We could have some form of uh, collection tube here. Um, but uh, today, with this sample, we just collect straight into uh, test tube or little sample tubes. We're lucky to have one of these presses so that we can raise the height of the platform and collect the samples that come over in our little tubes here. And that is all we need to do. So we've uh, speedily gone through the start but really it's the, the start is putting the equipment together is as much as carrying out the experiment uh, so it's a good introduction to using quick fit apparatus setting up a distillation apparatus and uh, distilling a, a nice orange oil through the uh, condenser there. Now we're hoping to get some limonene from this experiment. Limonene is a natural product that uh, exists as two optical isomers and we've got samples of the pure isomers here and you might be able to spot from the name limonene e-n-e -E, that it's also an alkene so we'll be able to carry out a test for the al alkene group in this molecule um, we won't be able to test which stereoisomer we've got in terms of optical activity in a barometer but what we will be able to do is just to compare the smell to the two standards that we've got here and perhaps on that basis decide which one we've got in our orange peel. So that's to come later. Let's 
it's very hot already. You can see we're close to boiling. You can tell by the water that's uh, evaporating here and it's condensing on the side of the flask. So with a large, large amount of orange peel that we've used, or perhaps even more, there's usually no need to uh, add anti-bumping granules in this kind of setup. Um, but do be careful of uh, overheating. Mantling does need to be turned down once you uh, spot signs of boiling going on. This is starting to bubble and froth on the side. We'll turn the heat right down for a second. And you can watch the progress of the uh, condensate as it falls back down through the distillation arm. We're about, right about here at the moment. So the idea is that any volatile organic material is going to come over with the steam and of course the more volatile the oil the uh, sooner it should come over with the first steam that's condensing there so we're just passing over you might be able to detect on there and we'll soon be having uh, drops forming in the library condenser Center.
So this is a great experiment to demonstrate distillation and the collection of an oil from a natural product. We've already collected about two mils of water there, but we're hoping there's going to be some oil accompanying that water. And what you need to look for is the, the layer that's on the top there. Can you see, is that picking up on the video there? There you've got a, a layer of oil and then underneath a layer of water and it's the oil that we're interested in as the organic material so what we can do is to compare the smell of the oil to our two standards here and So it's more like the like the R. Uh, it's not particularly the same as either of them being a, a more of a complex thing, but more like the R than it is the S. This one's got more of a piney sort of smell to it. Right, the next test we can do is to do a test for the presence of the alkene in the oil there, and we'll be doing that with a standard bromine mortar test. Um, again, here we no need to collect. Uh, save any of the oil in, in this quick demonstration. So we'll just take some, I've got about oh, two mils of bromine water there, um, rather excess to waste it all. As I pump, push that into the tube, you can see the bottom water layer, as we expected, has taken on the orange colour of the bromine water. And now, of course, what we need to do is to give that a little shake. Let's put a top on here and watch what happens to the colour and you should see that rapidly the bromine water is decolorized because we did have rather a lot of the the alkene there the uh, limonene in the orange oil so there that's the demonstration of the extraction of oil from orange peel containing an alkene uh, which uh, is limonene <laughs>